What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, we do a little bit of bashing, some crawling, the minis, some speed runs, occasional drifting, unboxings, upgrades, and everything RC related. This week on my workbench, TRX4 M Defender. Done a lot of things to this rig. Um, one thing I haven't really done is convert it over to brushless because I do like uh, that I have a lot invested into this light kit with the roof uh, light bar. A bumper light bar, headlights, got a trailer for it. So just a lot of light kits for it. I've done a lot of things to this rig. There's some trio wheel and tires, uh, some Enduro tires, Enduro brass, steering links, um, just uh, high clearance links. Uh, eventually did change it over to a Holmes Hobby 66 turn. Did the low range gear set to give me that control that I was looking for. Uh, Reefs Micro 90, uh, 55 Servo. Got some nice mud flaps for it on Amazon. Some accessories. So uh, aluminum front bumper. So yeah, I've done quite a few things to this truck. So uh, it's time to get it brushless. Um, if you're like me, this is a great video for you. If you already invested in the light kit and you have to kind of, you're kind of married to that ESC and you want something better than a brushed motor, then this is the perfect drop-in kit for it. Get to keep uh, all the light kit and get brushless out of it. Keep my remote. So, so this should be a direct drop-in, pretty good system if you're looking to keep most of your original light kit accessories and stuff like that. So I'm gonna drop it in there. I'm gonna take it out, see how it performs. We are gonna keep the low range gear set in it. I wanna see how it performs with that. I don't think it needs it. Now that this has a lot more control, and I know it does have FOC, but this should just drop right in there. Shouldn't be a problem. So we're going to get that installed. We'll take it out and I'll let you know my thoughts on how good the uh, brushless power system is for this rig. It's a nice small motor. This is an Outrunner motor and it is a 3350. Very, very similar to the Fury Tech stuff. Here's your ESM brushless three channel, pretty much almost the same. Got to figure out how to bind it, but shouldn't be a problem. There are instructions in there. So we'll drop it in there. Already got some stuff out of, uh, to make this faster, remove the brush motor and stuff like that. So, so we're all set, super easy install. The kit does come with a little motor plate that you attach to the uh, brushless motor. Comes with some longer screws, comes with all the hardware. Uh, it's a pretty simple direct bolt-on and all my light kit. Still has all the functionality that I want. It is programmable, we're gonna program it right quick. It does have a sport mode. It does have a trail mode and a crawl mode. This just says to basically uh, Power it on and hold the easy set button and release the button after the desired number of flashes for your particular mode. So this is a great setup if you already have the light kit, like I said earlier. Here's my Micro 55. And here's a little plate that goes on the motor. So like I said, direct uh, drop in. Got to do some cable management, but outside of that, this is pretty much set to go. One change I did make since I do have this new motor and I now have pretty nice control. I did drive it with the low range gear set and I was like, you know what? I want a little bit more wheel speed. Just went back to the stock uh, gear set, took out the low range set. Let's program it real quick, put it into crawl mode. We'll test it here in the garage. Now that I changed it back to the uh, stock gear set. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's always fun. Now basically all you do is turn it on. You hit the easy, button, easy set button, hold it. It's one, two, trail mode. One, two, three. Let it go. Now it's in crawl mode. 
and that's going to give us 100% forward heel hold brake at neutral and immediate reverse. Oh, I like the noise it makes. I can hear the drag brake coming on and I can hear the tires screeching. So a lot more wheel speed. That's all the wheel speed you guys are gonna need. So. I just brought out here to test out the uh, Traxxas brushless system. Uh, these Enduro tires are not the best rock crawling tires, but that's all right. getting held up on a lot of grass and stuff. These rocks are a little too big for it, but. Definitely way better control than the uh, brushed motor that I had in there, obviously. So, and like I said, it's a win-win because I get to keep my lights. Just a drag brake here. Exactly what I want. It's holding pretty good. Nice. Beautiful. And getting held up. That's what I want, though. That's the drag rig you want, guys. I do feel like it kind of gets a little held up. The FOC is not responding how it probably should, or if it's getting held up on something. It's a little top heavy. Seems like it kind of goes back. Thought this is gonna hold. I 
think my little hitch is kind of getting in the way of a lot of things here, but I like to scale stuff, guys, you know that. Speed to definitely get you over anything you need. Need some of these bigger rocks. He has this little like instead of uh, kind of pushing through using this little jitters right here. Got to kind of throttle more. I don't know if it's the system or the tires really. I am getting held up, of course. But that little jitter not sure what that's about right there I gotta give it a little more throttle to get out of it and then it kind of settles down pretty nicely it gives me a good slow crawl this is exactly what I'm looking for Drag brake's nice though, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda holds very nice. Let's try that again. Very nice drag brake and control on that one, guys. This feels weird at times. It has like this little shake to it. Like the, F the, the FOC is trying to kick in. So we'll crawl a little bit more in the front yard. See how it performs. Some of these rocks are really big for it. But so far it's been pretty good. Definitely think that the TRX4 Defender is a little bit better for the tr light trails and stuff like that. Definitely get nice control out of it. I do think I prefer the Fury Tech system. Gives me a little bit more um, options for programming and stuff like that. But overall, I think it's a good uh, it's a good system if you have a TRX4. So you definitely want to keep your light kit. This might be the best way to go, and you don't have to get a receiver. So, pretty much uh, a solid solid release by Traxxas. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.